I think we're stepping in the garage here, right? Um, it's uh, what a day, yeah? It's great. Thank you very much. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Doncaster uh, valued at what three hundred fifty thousand pound a year by the RFU, and us fifty thousand pound a year from the R from the RIU, and uh, and yet we do that for them. Yeah, well, you can't say too much. You know, we've been on a roll pretty much all season. Tended to end up second half rather than first half, but um, you know the boys are just the playing out at the moment. I mean, how was it on the pitch today? Because because you were in the cosh for a lot of the first half, wasn't it? There was um, what, what was the what was the call went up? Was it half time? I mean, what was the deal? Owen Owen's try was was a bit of a turning point, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, we were um, struggling first half. Yeah. They had a big pack to play for them. Mm. Very good scrummaging team, uh, good line out team, good kicking team. Mm. Um, half time then had a bit of a raw game which I think is renowned now um, I, think I think we do it at one point I think yeah <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me uh, yeah a bit of a raw game especially the forwards you know and uh, he said basically we need to carry more mm. uh, be a bit more active and um, you know do better in the scrum really um, come out, come out fighting all season. As, as a coach you couldn't have asked for much more. Um, I said Owen, Owen Williams had a top game today. Um, Lewis, scrum on. Lewis had a cracking game. A really good game. You know? um, I thought Dick Gore was, was outstanding as was Darren Waters. Yeah. Nothing, nothing so much trouble for Darren. With Darren and Dick Gore the usual go to players if you like. You know. And let's not take away from the from the boiler house men, because obviously it's difficult to praise yourself, but I thought Lockie had a tremendous game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well fair play to Lockie, he's, uh, he's he's come down the other season and you know, he's been tremendous. I think the supporters loved him from the start and it's, um, you know, he's, he's, a, main, he's one of your main ball carriers. Well don't say too much because you were one of our male, m- main male ball carriers, that doesn't sound right. Main ball carriers as well, so um You've got to be pleased with the way with the way things are going, and pleased with your own performance as well, because I think you've really come. You've turned from this sort of rangy uh, lock, this yeah. thin, this strip of a thing we got from Mountain Ash, yeah. and suddenly there's this bloke who's he's twice the size, well, three times the size of me at the moment. This yeah. uh, is a bit frightening, but my God, I mean, you've got to be so pleased. Yeah, I'm on a personal note, um, uh, me and Chief had a bit of a chat at the end of last season. Um, he said, you know, I'm playing pretty good. Uh, we said for next season the target was to put on a stone. Which you've uh, done or? Which yeah, I put on. Well congratulations on putting on weight. Yeah, thank you very much. It was very hard. Um, but uh, I wouldn't say it was necessarily the best weight initially but you wanted me to put it on so I checked it on and just, yeah. you know, played it up with it in the gym and I uh, and it's come good. It's come good for me. I was just speaking with um, with Darren Bull, our conditioning coach, and he says how, he just said how pleased he was with with the way you guys have just taken to it, and it yeah. must be a it must be a reciprocal thing though, because you're obviously very pleased with how the coaching staff have responded as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so like the Bull, he's, he's spot on with all his fitness. Mm. Uh, if we don't have a game, he's cancelled, call off. Um, he'll have us down one to one gym, and um, he, he he makes the way you work. You can't have a rest day with Bully. You make sure you work. Now, what's your what's your story? What's your background? How rugby family? How did you get started? Um, not really a rugby family. My grandfather played a lot for Red but other than that, didn't really. Yeah. I think he had a few caps for the district and stuff. But um, no, not really. Um, I was a footballer. Um, believe it or not, uh, started off as a young school boy. Were you and Peter crouched together? Yeah. Right? No, I was actually a goalkeeper. All oh, right. Um, but then uh, the Schmeichel of Mountain Ash, was it? Yeah, <laughs> as you went through the years of um, uh, comprehensive, most of the boys were turning into rugby, so I followed suit. Um, played for my local club, Mountain yeah. Ash, grew from under 16s, youth, seniors. Um, had a little stint down um, um, Kelly Warriors. All right. Um, I think it was the under 20 blanks. Did you go on the South African tour? I pulled out just before that because um, I was struggling with injuries oh and I just God. took the rest of the season off, which uh, was a bit of a bit yeah. tempting. Um, uh, from that, Chris Stevens, who was a coach of Regent at the time, um, 
took, uh, asked me to go down to Gen, play down there. Had a few games down there. Um, went back to Mount, Mount Nash. And then I think I had a year or two again with Mount Nash seniors. And then that's when Ponty asked me to come down. Bit of a no brainer, was it? Oh, yes. I, 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 I struggled with the decision at first because um, I wasn't sure if I was ready. I had a taste of it with Jen, but I wasn't sure whether I was ready for the Ponty experience. Yeah, say. yeah. But uh, I'm so glad I made the decision. It's, yeah. you know, it's been brilliant. Oh, it's, it's, come, it's come great. What, what have been three, four seasons? I can't even think. Neither of us can think yeah, about this, can no, we? I think it's about four seasons, to be honest, though. But, uh, you know, my first season, then in stadium, we lost the final against Nice, but uh, that was a great occasion. The supporters didn't let us down that day. There was, it, it, sorry, I interrupted, but I, I've got to say that we've sort of had two sort of resurgences at Ponty. I think just before we won the 2006 Connacht and Alta Cup, we had a bit of a resurgence and a lot of boys have matured together. And it seems to be happening again. A lot of boys have been here for about eight years and there's a lot of boys been here for about four years and suddenly everything's starting to gel and it's just starting to tick, isn't it? I think, to be honest, uh, I think in the last season they um, asked a lot of the boys to sign a two-year contract yeah. rather than a one-year contract. A shrewd move. Yes, which is uh, very intelligent on yeah. their part. Um, to keep the players at the club, you know, don't lose the players to the bigger club. Uh, in these, these yeah. three um, but I think it's worked really well and like you said you know we've since I've been here four seasons since I've been here um, you see player mature different meters you know he's he's gone from something else he's gone from the second row back to playing eight and also taking over the caps from and, and, and considering how young you guys are as well what are you now 20 I'm about 27 you're about 27 yeah. so 32 27 now 27 of March <laughs> 27 of March 27th of March. 27th of March. I'm 27th of March. Anyway, let's, let's get off this. It's, get, it's, it's getting too about me now. Um, <laughs> it, it's... I mean, it, it, Dick goes... I don't want to talk too much about other players while, while I'm talking to you, but obviously, Dick goes... It, it's something else. He's just turned from this young kid into a, into a captain, sort of overnight. I'm still, still so young, really. Yeah, it's frightening, um, man. I think he's really grown into the role as well. Yeah. Um, his first team speech was a bit, uh, you could tell he was a bit nervy. Yeah. But uh, they're coming on now, his speeches, they're pretty good. They gave up for a bit. You know. I'm not going to ask too much, I'm not going to ask too much. Let's, let, we can keep some, some things private, I think. Maybe one day I'll get into a dressing room and, and film, a, film a team speech oh. beforehand, but uh, somehow I doubt it. I think I have to bleep most of it. <laughs> um, now, ambitions, Ryan Savage. What's, what's Ryan Savage aiming for? Um, to be honest with you, I'd, I'd like to go further, yeah. you know, uh, as most players that play at any level really, yeah, you know, yeah. they always want to progress, um, but beyond that, playing for Ponty, winning a few trophies would be very nice, very nice, in especially this year, yeah. and definitely for the supporters, so, you know. Well, I, I've, got to, I've got to say to you, I mean, I think... There's a lot of emotional people in, in the crowd today when you guys came over and, uh, and bowed and saluted at the oh, end, which was... Yeah. Uh, what, what was the story there? Did, um, was that just spur of the moment? Or? It, yeah, it was definitely a spur of the moment. Um, we just... You know, normally we give the, give the supporters a clap, especially for coming yeah, and yeah. travelling distances yeah. and stuff like that. But uh, they, today, I think that's the best crowd. Perhaps not in numbers. No. I, I'm not quite sure of the numbers, but... Uh, how loud they were and just cheering you know, even when we were a bit behind and first half and struggling. Yeah. But uh, they they tremendous. It was something else in the second half. Oh, yeah. It was something else. I mean uh, it, we, no one had to no one had to get the crowd G'd up. No one had to say, Come on, come on. There was nothing in that. We just we just did it ourselves oh, basically. Yeah. I think they had a few sherbets on the way up. Yeah, quite a few sherbets I think. Yeah. It was a long old drive this morning, let me tell you. Um but uh, no. Coming off the pitch, you know, everyone wanted to shake their hands. Yeah. Going up to the function room for some dinner. The the noise there. I think the um, Doncaster team just didn't want it done. You know. I've got um I've got most of it on camera actually. I'm gonna stick that on YouTube as well because yeah. when you guys entered, I got I, I I didn't think about the first lot because I was so busy cheering. I thought, hang on a second, supporters will want to see this. Yeah. This is fantastic. Oh yeah, definitely. What an atmosphere. Yeah. 
I mean, you're obviously looking to go further in, in, with your career, but I mean, for the moment, with you can you can revel in this this evening, can't you? You can, oh, you can relish this because yeah, yeah. this is this is the pinnacle of. I mean, playing at playing at championship side and, and giving them a comprehensive yeah. thrashing. Oh, definitely. Pretty much yeah. the pinnacle of Ponty so far. Yeah, right? well, championship side, um, professional side. Mm. Um, we're semi pro, and it's just it's good to get one up on the English. Um, but to do it, like I said, in front of the fans. Um, and to do the way we've done it. With no little style. Yeah, second half is the way we play. First half we struggle. Mm. Second half the way we play. We want to run teams about, especially big teams like Tom Bastard. That's so fantastic. It's really fantastic. Great day. And ambitions, you talked about trophies, but ambitions for um, ambitions for Ponty now. And, and Are we talking three trophies this season? What are we saying now? Can our squad do it? Is there the strength and depth, right? Be honest. If I'm telling the truth, I definitely think we can do it. Um, mm. As you know, Chief don't mind rotating the, the team. And I, I expressed this on Terrace Talk, the Ponty Forum, in the week that I've never been a fan of it in the past. But yeah. by God, it's working this season. It's definitely working this season. I think a lot of the um, academy boys, the seventeens and the twenties, I think uh, they just they pull out all the stops. You know, um, the answer and the challenge of Chief is setting them. Um, which is to come into the environment mm. and perform like a party player. And it must be pleasing for you as a, as a sort of, um, as one of the more uh, senior members of the squad, if, if you will. Um, not in terms of how long you've been here, but certainly in terms of age anyway, to see such youngsters coming through, guys who are 10 years younger than you, oh, and yeah. just pulling up the stops. Definitely, you know, you've got, uh, especially in my position, you've got Matthew Screech, mm. uh, Corey Hill, and both of them could go far, really far. Mm. Um, but uh, you've, you've got Will Griff John, very good player, big boy. Big fella. Yeah, very big boy. Big, slightly frightening fella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they had a bit of a fisty cuffs today. A couple of tussles with him yeah. and Daisy, we a couple of tussles with the. Uh, well, that's a good thing as well, you know, they're not scared to mix it up no. as well. Um, no backward steps upon you there. No, no. I think, I think if they were with perhaps the Blues or whatever, you wouldn't see that, but uh, with Ponty, they, they won't take a backward step, no. so I think that's a. Uh, I think that's. Uh, I think that's. That must be your motto as well. No backward steps from Ryan Savage. Ryan, I, I, you know, I mean, I haven't done this with any other player, but I've got to thank you for the amount of boilerous work you've put in because it's been so pleasing to watch you develop with Ponty. It's uh, it's something else, and I know a lot of the player, a lot of the supporters upstairs are, you know, were very keen for me to get this interview because uh, they all say when you're getting sav, when you're getting sav. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Keep on playing like you're playing. I'm sure we'll have a chat at some point in the future, but for the moment, dear Marianne. Go and enjoy yourself now, alright? Oh, definitely. Thank you very much.